Hello there. It is your mom of three in NYC. Back at you with another video. Hey, if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. My name is Teneza. I'm the mom of three amazing kids living in the heart of New York City. I am here to review. This, this show's about to be lit. I'm telling you guys. Married at First Sight, Season 16, Episode 2. You guys, let's just jump into it. Before I do, y'all, Clint is crazy. Yep, I, I, you heard it here first. Clint's crazy. Kirsten and Shaquille. The wedding day. Shaquille definitely likes what he sees when he sees Kirsten. He has that nervous laughter. He said, Cole, I'm stunned. You're beautiful. And the family, both Kirsten's family and Shaquille's family, tears on both sides. They're both happy. I felt they're both happy. I feel like the families are happier for Kirsten than she is for herself. But we'll, we'll get into that. So remember, guys, when she told her bridesmaids that you'll know if I'm feeling him when I either I'll, the roll of the eye or but the way they were facing, you wouldn't be able to see or if I give him the cheek, right? So if I let him kiss him on the lips, if he if I give him the cheek, y'all, what does she do? She gives Portia kill the cheek. <laughs> Yo, guys, and why did he keep kissing the cheek? <laughs> you know how you kiss on the lips, you may kiss a few times? Yo, he she gave him the cheek and he kissed it a few times. Shaquille saw the glasses half full though because he was like, at that moment, I had so much respect for her that she had boundaries. I was like, ooh boo, if you knew, if you knew. She's caught up on his bald head and I don't understand. I honestly feel like it's the generation guys that has a list and everything has to be checked off in order for you to be happy. And that's just not realistic. That's not real life, Kirsten. He's handsome. He's handsome. She gives him a cheek. He just kept on kissing you guys. Shaq was enthused. Enthused. Enthused to marry Kirsten. I he was enthused, you guys. He said though about the kiss. I respect her so much that she did that. Okay, boo. I'll take it. If, you, if that's what you're ordering, I'll take it. She said that. He had two strikes already. And I was like, Kirsten, not strikes already. Y'all just met. She said, one, he's bald. Two, he's younger. Again, those are so superficial. I mean, she can feel the way she wants to feel. That's fine. But look at the bigger picture here, right? That because of his two strikes, but his personality outweighs his exterior looks. That man is handsome, Kirsten. I mean, he's bald, yes. But what else is there to, to complain about? He's got beautiful skin, a beautiful beard. He's got great teeth. He's got cute style. I'm not getting it. I'm not understanding. Please teach me, Kirsten. All right, on to Gina and Clint. So they're trying on their wedding gear. I'm not understanding this no socks thing. Like, Clint, where are your socks? And I get that he's casual, but like no tie wear. With Gina, she's with her two friends and her mom, Julia and Kaylin and her mom. When Clint came out in the very first tuxedo, please tell me why his friend Andrew was like, don't do it in that. You look like a Chippendale stripper. But it was so funny because that was the same friend when he told his friends that he was getting married in two weeks, they found a match that looked super concerned. Like, I'm not sure that's a good idea. For the first dress she tried on, Julia was like, I hate it. <laughs> I was like, dang, Julia, be honest. And chooses the light gray suit, submitly feeling herself in her lace gown. She looks beautiful. Beautiful. Is my YouTube family. All you have to do is to be a member of Tenaza's tribe is to smash that subscribe button below. Let's get to it, guys. Nicole, I have my notes, has deep insecurities. She hasn't gotten any commitment from any male. 
Chris is also scared of rejection. Dress one. I thought it was a great fit for a body type. It was tulle and lace with spaghetti straps. Mom even says Nicole needs someone who can match her energy, quote, rein her in. In my notes, I have, that is not Chris. Do you guys see Chris reining Nicole in? I don't know. Chris chooses a gray tux with a black trim. Nicole, I thought this was really sweet. I even wrote the quote down. I thought it was really, really sweet. When she was trying on her dress, she ended up choosing a column wedding gown with a lace overlay with thicker straps. And it looked beautiful. It fit her body type very well. She said, quote, I'm giving the best version of myself to the world. And she feels like a bride. On to Jasmine and Ares. Jasmine is trying on dresses with her sister, Emmy, her mother, Yvette, and her friend, Mandy. Aries is trying his suit on with cheese and Harold. She felt her first dress was way too pageantry. Aries had a burgundy tux that matched his skin tone, he said. He said that he was working hard to leave his F-boy ways in the past. Jasmine ends up choosing a long sleeve sheer mesh armed with lace overlay and she said she looked snatched and she looked beautiful she's a beautiful girl beautiful girl and mckinley um mckinley's trying on his tux with tim brandon and chad mckinley is looking forward to night's in basically netflix and chilling and i was concerned i'm still concerned i feel like dominique enjoys her girls nights out i'm concerned I'm concerned, guys. Ever since she was flirting with that stripper last episode, I'm concerned. I'm glad that Dominique I have is happy with her dress. She tries dresses on with her mom, Toya, and her grandmother, Leah. I personally didn't think the dress supported her. And I'm not trying to be shady here because I'm not here to bash anyone's looks. But that dress, that caught, it reminded me of two extra large cotton rounds at CVS <laughs> covering her bust. <laughs> I was confused. I feel like the dress did not support her and I feel like she had two CVS cotton rounds which you could see clearly through the lace of her dress. But you know what? She loved it. She loved it. More power to you, girl. More power to you. All right, the gifts. Uh, these were the uh, this is the only couple so far that exchanged gifts that I remember. Chris gifted Nicole not only a beautiful, beautiful engagement ring, a diamond, beautiful, you guys. He also gave her a moonstone bracelet that symbolizes strength, hope, and clarity, but also a diamond necklace. And I could like see Nicole letting her guard down. At that moment, I was like, I'm here for them. I'm here for them. I'm here. I see experts. I see. I'm not, I have no problem changing my tune if I'm wrong. I really don't. I think I was wrong. I hope I was wrong that they were not going to be a good match because now I see it, experts. And I feel that Nicole was like snarky and sarcastic the first episode as like a defense mechanism. She lets her guard down a little bit. She's more feminine and a little bit more calm and I like this Nicole this is a Nicole I, I like I like this Nicole I'm here for them I'm here Nicole gifted Chris with a blue cyanide crystal which which symbolizes communication fear removal of fear and connection and it's so cute they both gave each other cards explaining the gifts exactly I thought that was really sweet I thought it was really thoughtful that they gave each other gifts and the fact that there's their gifts of the moon's stone bracelet and the crystal were so similar is amazing and the fact that she got to wear not only a brand new engagement ring but also a beautiful diamond necklace on her wedding day five out of five stars good job guys so yeah the gifts gives me hope for them i have in my notes nicole looks beautiful on her wedding day get to the altar like they're visibly happy with each other and I thought it was kind of cool and weird that Chris thought her name was going to be Nicole. She guessed that. And she thought her husband's name was going to be Chris. But they were delighted at each other. That's what I have in my notes. Delighted. See that? Delighted with each other. They both had great vows. 
they kissed on the lips and they held hands. They were delighted. I see experts. I, I think I may be wrong. I think Nicole and Chris, I think they could do it. I really, I feel like they both wanted so badly and they do have a lot of similarities that I see it now. I see the vision. I see it. And then we go to Gina and Clint. Gina has beautiful eyes, by the way. She's beautiful. Clint, come here. Come here closer. I did not need to know that you have slept with 65 people. I did not need to know that. I didn't. It's not my business. I didn't need to know that. But since you told us, I had to do my mathematics. All right, tribe. Assuming he became active at age 18. I don't know. I don't know. I never mentioned it. It could be 15, 16, it could be 20. I said, you know, 18 is like you're an adult, you're grown, like 18. Assuming he was he became sexually active at 18, he's 40, 40 years old now. So that's 22 years of being active. You gotta subtract four years from that long-term girlfriend. Four years for that. So now we have 18 years of being active. You divide 65 by 18, that's 3.7. Let's round to four. He has been with a different partner every three months for 18 years. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not here to judge, you are a grown man. You are a grown man. I did not need to know that fact, but since you shared it, I had to give the mathematics. I need facts. I need numbers. And that's what it is. That's what it is. Every three months for 18 years, you had a different partner. And maybe you spun the block a couple of times, but that was new people. Yep, new people. I'm going to end it there. Gina's mom's reaction to her dress was everything. Every, I was so here. She looked amazing, by the way. Her mom dress was everything. But that reaction, the jaw drop, beautiful. I loved it. I loved their love. Gina looked happy with Clint. Clint looked happy with Gina. But the way he looked at her, I was like, I think he's trying to envision her naked. That's honestly the way that he, that's honestly what I thought when I saw him look at her was that he was like looking at her and trying to see what she's gonna look like naked. I, I felt a little bit uncomfortable. I did, I did. But her smile was beautiful. She was glowing. They both were like, I, they both felt relieved, I think. I felt they both, they saw each other and like, okay, fine. Okay, we can work with this. <laughs> That's the feeling that I got. In the lips and they hugged. Uh, after they finish the ceremony, they go sit down. So crazy. They both live in the same building. She thinks she may have seen him before in the elevator. He has no idea. Clint works for a tech company. She says, like, what do you do? I don't believe him. I don't. Because he's like, what do you mean? What do I do? Like, what do I do for money? Like, what does that... We all know when someone asks, what do you do? What's your J-O-B? What do you file your W-2 with? And he said, he's so general, like a tech company. I don't believe you. I, I don't, I don't. I feel, I don't know what he does, but I, I don't know what it is. I still feel like we don't know what it is. And then it cuts to Jasmine and Eris and not him saying goodbye to the streets while he's getting ready for his wedding. Wedding. And also I learned that Jasmine is a PK, a preacher's kid. I did not know that. Love the prayer circle. Here for it. Felina, the cousin, she wants to be able to say, I told you. You know it's not too late to walk away. Let's go. And that's where the episode ends. Did you guys like this episode? Are you a fan of the couples? Again, I like Nicole and Chris. I feel like they have a lot in common. I feel, I thought they gifted each other. It was a great way to start the relationship. I'm here for it. She let her guard down and she was sweet and she was, she knew, she was confident. She felt beautiful. I'm here for it. And I see what, I see what it is. Clint is a little bit crazy, you guys. He's too much. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to say, 
I don't want to write them off yet. Gina looks so happy. They both have the travel. They both have enough things in common hobby-wise that they could work. I'm concerned that Eris may not be ready for marriage, but we're going to see. All right. If you loved it, smash the subscribe button below. Let me know in the comments. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Who's going to work out? Predictions now. All right. I'll see you in next week's video.